Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to play Issa on map split and we'll start right here when you are attacking on Issa. So you can do something that you do with Oman if you have a chat or or race in your team. She can be able to usually use this especially in the first round. So that way he can use this undercut right here when the and when our race is gonna be pushing since usually she would have only classic and armor. But the anyone there. right here would be two shots into the body if they didn't buy armor. So it's super easy for them to get a kill right here and you can get yourself an open. You can use your wall up Stop and entering fire. like this as well. So that way you can scale up and go behind the wall. You can use your undercut like this so that way anyone close is gonna get vulnerable. And if your teammates are pushing with you they can usually easily trade and continue the push. You can be easily also using your wall like this so that way anyone in heaven is not gonna pick you. If you are going fast behind the wall, you can be using it to on anyone who would be there. standing in these corners. Or as you can see it's gonna reach all the way here if you get in this spot. So that way you can Over hit there. elbow, but you can do it even from here. Breaking them. Over but there. usually try to aim a little better than I just did. Destabilizing. It's like that. As you can see over there of course if you have your double tap always activate it Focusing. first before pushing so that way you can get at least some uh the if you can kill anyone you can get some additional uh additional health that, you, that can save your life so that way you can break the little play that's gonna appear about enemies who are gonna who are gonna get killed by you you can be using your ultimate from a uh, once again safe spot over there for example this one as you can see it's gonna reach all the way into over elbow there. rafters and even ramp however it would be quite difficult here to predict where the enemies can be so i would recommend just simply first like an info if, if you know where the enemies are playing what their habits are and then just simply use your ult like that and try to take off on one defender of the set so that way it's gonna be easier for the team to push in even if you have a sage you're gonna Over there. appear dead at this spot so that she can revive you after that you can be even pushing mid, for example, like this. Behind the wall, you can swing to the right so that way anyone there, you can see them. Has Over someone there. to smoke this, and you can continue to push by simply using your vulnerability like that, and then clearing the rest of these spots so that way you know where the, if there are enemies. If you can get here, you can use it like this so that way anyone further back or close behind box is gonna get vulnerable, and you will gain a lot of space by using these abilities if you don't get stopped by the enemies. You can use it even from here either for this spot so that way you are not really afraid to peek and get close if you have no one to smoke this for you you can Maybe use it cover. at these doors and it's gonna climb it as you can see and you can scale up once again Breaking them. and continue your push if you want to move on to B I think it's gonna be super easy to push here since as you can see you can use it for example Over like there. this so that way you can start anyone in the back Be like that anyone Breaking close them. you can Stop use your fire. wall and follow it up over here there. you should be either using viper wall or in stage wall so that you can safely push and they are safe from the push if you use your wall so that way they don't get shot from anyone in the back you can just simply use, use these abilities to gain even closer even with your double tap so that way you can take fights and not really be afraid and try to get a kill so that way once again you gain yourself an advantage or even a skill that can be very helpful you can be also open and in this spot you can as you can see you will reach over a lot there. of over there. different places so you should be first looking in info where the enemies are playing usually there will be someone heaven if you know that for example there's a sage who plays his wall on mid you can get here at the beginning of the round and wait for him so you can aim like this and you will always get the sage there you can use it instantly so that way you can get a kill on her and meantime your teammates can push Over there. since enemies would not be expecting you to be pushing this this early on since you firstly have to break the wall and there won't be anyone playing close even if there's not this time sage there's for example operator blind by simply doing this you will still get them Over since there. they would have to be picking the mid -wand. and this is super easy to do and it can win you a lot of a lot of fights even if you die you once again you get traded Moving on to A, if you are defending, usually you're gonna be playing with Race, since her nade is gonna do a lot of damage, and you can be trying to set up a little traps with her. Over you can, there. for example, vulnerable this, and in the meantime she nades that. 
you can do it pretty much from anywhere you can do it even from the ramp but as you can see if you are more to the left of it it's gonna provide you that it's gonna vulnerable more people even if you have a breach you can combine it with him you can stop pushes by simply or if you are the enemies are inside you can just simply use this wall and try to scale up behind the wall so that way you once again can gain space even if the enemies are pushing in you can use this it doesn't go that far as you can see however it goes far enough so that way you can take a fight with these enemies the same thing works right here on mid you can be waiting for enemies to be pushed and use it once again peak and once again if you use it with your race you can get into great combos and get a lot of kills or like this which would be super free for you and you're gonna get a lot of assets you can be also peeking that usually activate your double tap Show me you can use this cover. if you wanna change your angle since enemies don't have to if you explore there. if you use it here they would be usually looking at that spot and you've altered your positions to a different one once again giving yourself an advantage you can use your ultimate to get enemies off site super easily by simply doing stuff like no this so that's why anyone planting there. if you're in a situation where you have to are in 2v1 situation and you want to lose to the round once again you simply pull the side or you take the risk and and ult it you can use it from safe spots as you can see you can use it from spawn all the way here so that way it would be pretty easy for you on a it's not that easy you have to be much closer so you should have Over someone there. trying to hold Over there. these spots for you but still you are giving yourself uh you are still in a good spot where the enemies don't have to kill you so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And see you guys soon. Bye.